Okay, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, we're about to start in a couple. Diana Patricia, do you like BTS? No. Why do you think that? Because you're um Pelucha? Is the say a man? No, it's a how do you say cerdo? A, I forgot it. A pig. A pig. It's a pig. A pig. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think it's uh, uh, only one pet, the BTS. <laughs> no, I don't know, but it's a pig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, someday you are going to tell me what in the world is BTS. It's a band, Korean. A Korean band? <laughs> A Korean band. Ah, okay. The seven, the seven boys. <laughs> oh. Yes. No, Koreans, before, they were strong people. They were fighters. They were... Now... No. <laughs> it's no... <laughs> <laughs> Korean. <laughs> okay. A lot of series, right? Actually, my wife is watching one right now. <laughs> yes, I. This day I watched the Korean series. Uh, so, I don't so, like the title in English. <laughs> huh? Well, okay, if you use them to practice your English, okay. 
Yes. <laughs> I, I always tell my wife, but that is not true. So love is not like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I like that the same other series, um the Rus Russians. Russians. Yes. Oh. I watch him two two or three sometimes. Oh, I haven't. I have never seen Russian series or movies, or I don't remember. I like um, more. I like more Spanish. No, series. it is subtitles in English, but it's more more um educations. Ah. For okay. for for your culture, for culture Russians. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not do documentary. I ah, think okay, okay. Okay. Well, let's get started, people. Welcome one more time. Ah, I feel a little sick today, but here we are. This morning, I I woke up with sore throat. And some pain in my in my joints, you know the joints. Yeah. So the joints are, are these or these, the elbow, the knees, the ankles. Those are yes. the joints. You need to take a medicine. Yeah, I took uh, some acetaminophen a couple of like an hour ago. That's why I feel a little bit better. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, let's work tonight. Well, last class, uh, there were some questions or some sentences that you were going to complete about your city or your neighborhood. But first, uh, there is a video here in the platform that I would like to to show you because it's about that, okay? It's, it it talks or uh, about the adverbs of quantity we studied yesterday. So let's watch the video. Let's use it now that it is here in the platform. Okay, so let me share the screen. Okay, here it is. Okay, oh, no, no. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. You see, I'm sick. <laughs> ah, okay, thank you. Uh, let's start with You the... forgot the list for uh, yes. speaking about BTS in Korean <laughs> series. <laughs> yeah, it's Brenda's fault. <laughs> Okay, let's take the attendance. Let me pull up the list here. Tuesday the 5th. Okay. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present. Okay, welcome. Uh, Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present. Okay, welcome. Here. Andrea Isabel Siu. Andrea Isabel Ajet. Brenda Claribel Mejia. I'm here, present. Okay, welcome. Brian Josue Marroquín Ayala. Brian, here. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Claudia Maria Gomez Canizales. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Diana Patricia Orantes Lopez. Present. Okay. Welcome. 
Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Are you driving or just sitting in your car? Yes, I hear in uh, in my car. <laughs> they don't want you at home. Go out with your class. We are watching TV. <laughs> Jennifer knows said Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Oh, Welcome. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present teacher. Where, where? Okay, there you are. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Lenin. Present. Okay. I have class. <laughs> my my <laughs> camera. Okay. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. I am here. Okay. Where, where? Oh. Okay. Good idea. Mary Abigail Fuentes de Velázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Cameras, people, cameras. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel. Again. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Uh, here. Okay, welcome. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Norma Lisette Crespin Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Okay, I barely heard you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Okay, welcome. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. I'm here. Okay, welcome. Silvia Esther Rivera Calderón. I'm here. Okay. A quick review. Andrea Isabel Siu, Brian Jose Marroquín, Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Ayet. Okay, now let's watch the video. Give me a second. About adverbs of quantity, okay? For count and non count nouns. Okay, watch it, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non-count noun, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present the structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say we 
have too many cars and let me go ahead as I am talking about that I'm gonna go ahead and write the examples now so let me write the example that is there there are whenever you see the expression too many that means that there is a problem that we have too much of too many in this case there are too many cars okay um, and just so that we keep the pattern there I'm gonna go ahead and change the colors um, there and that follows the verb to be and then we have too many and that's how we make that expression there are too many cars we can also say we have too many cars what I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there there aren't enough buses and this is whenever we are missing something right we need more of something like for example we need more buses maybe we need more police officers we're gonna use the expression there aren't enough and then that's gonna follow a count now so we used there plus aren't and then this is gonna follow the expression enough and what else can we say well we can say there aren't enough police officers what's another problem in your city well maybe there aren't enough parks what I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city and so I want to make sense of the example there should be fewer cards that's an opinion about what I think we need in my city so in order for us to form that idea we need a subject then we need should after that we're gonna need the verb to be and this is followed by either fewer or more and then it's gonna be followed by a count now so let me give you an example of that right now for example we could say there should be fewer cars which is the example that we have here we have a subject this could be in the form of there as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject uh, then it's gonna follow the model verb should and then this is, will be followed by a verb it can be the verb to be but it can be other verbs as well and then the um, adverb quantities such as fewer or more and then whatever count now that exists there should be fewer cars we should have more police officers and these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city and the other example that I haven't talked about we need more subway lanes that is kind of like a stronger opinion so it's no longer a suggestion if you will um, but it's it's something similar and so um, it's quite similar we're gonna say we the only difference is that we don't include a model bird, right we need more and in this case subway lines what I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city but now I'm gonna do it with non count nouns and so what I would like for you to notice is the difference right we, we discuss how to express problems with count nouns for example we said there are too many cars and what I want you to notice is that with non count nouns we're gonna use different words so for example instead of too many we will use too much instead of fewer we will use less um, we can use more for count nouns as well as for non count nouns so as you can see the example there we need more subway lanes that's a countable we need more public transportation that's a non countable um, and enough it's the same way there aren't enough buses there isn't enough parking um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always going to treat no countable nouns as singular even though we might be talking about uh, more things so let me try to present some structure there 
so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we can say there is too much traffic. And what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose. And there's our example. We have a subject that is followed by the verb. And then this is followed by either too much or enough. And then we have a non count now. So the example there is too much traffic. Let me give another quick example. There is too much, and I'm going to say pollution. Um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. There isn't enough parking. And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model verb. Okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less and we're going to say pollution. Um, I'm going to change these words now and instead of too much or not enough or, or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. It's going to be followed by the model verb should. And then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be. It can be something else. And then either less or more and whatever non count that exists. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learned. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. And I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non count nouns. And remember that if you are going to use count nouns, you're going to use expressions such as too many, fewer, or more. And if you're going to use non count nouns, then you're going to use expressions such as too much, less, or more. And so here's a quick guide of what I would like for you to do. I want you to tell me about your city. So a quick example, the city should provide more. We have too many. There's too much. There isn't enough. There should be fewer. There should be less. And you either include count nouns or non-count nouns to give your opinions or to talk about your city. Okay. Now let's see the manual. Okay. Yesterday I asked you to complete this sentence, right? I don't know if you did it or not, but let's do it, okay? Write about your neighborhood, write about your city, uh, completing these sentences. And this one as well. Okay? Did you do that yesterday or today? Or you want time to do it now? So, so? So, so is <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, at the, in the middle, because I, I have only the first, the second, uh okay. sorry i i forget it okay i know you're a busy people no problem okay so i will give you a few minutes to 
complete this the first eight sentences and to write about your city with the second set of sentences. Okay, so exercise A and exercise B. You have them there in WhatsApp now. I don't hear anything. Uh, I'm not saying anything. Okay. Don't worry.
When you finish, please write in the chat, done. Okay. Okay, two two more minutes. Okay, Diana. Okay, Brenda. Okay, Sylvia. Okay, now I will send you to working groups and 
to talk about your the place where you live, okay? So use your sentences to have a conversation about the place where you live. Okay, join the breakout rooms, please, and practice. Yes, these three words, these three words, uh, too much is very much. Uh, sería, uh, there should be fewer cars in the city. Three words. Three words. Oh. Is okay the number two or? Te escuché, te escuché entrecortado. Sorry. My audio. My audio. Less. There is less public transportation, maybe. Maybe. I, I try to say that in my city, uh, I have Ah, it's too many. No, it's enough. It's too many. Uh, it's too many. Okay. There are so many. In my cases, there is. There is too much public transportation. Yes, for me too. And the next is. Oh. The government needs to build. And that's it about my city. You got it? Oh, okay. La Veronica. In my neighborhood, 
the city need to produce more police station and there is too much pollution in neighborhood there Three number three. Um, three. there is public transportation for me. There is too much public transportation. Okay, I think. Okay, much yes too much. too much too much too much okay yes i think i don't know <laughs> there go Okay, welcome back.
Let's see. Let me start with Reina. Hi, Reina. Tell us a couple of things about your city or your neighborhood. Okay, I just um answer the questions and the letter B and I write I wrote the the city needs to provide more recreation spaces. Okay. Um we had too many cars in the city. Um there is too much air pollution too. There should be figures uh, like children working on the street. So I see many children working on the street. Okay. okay. They are countable, teacher? Children? Children, yeah, because the children is a plural we, word. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think uh, we don't have enough schools. And also the <laughs> because of, um, we don't have enough School, there should be less ignorance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. Reina for mayor. <laughs> okay, Reina, pass the ball to another classmate. Um, Diana. Okay, Diana, tell us about your city. Okay, um, the city needs to provide more garbage cans because when you eat something in the park or in the main street, you don't have you don't see any garbage garbage cans. Okay. And another, we have too many stray dogs, perros callejeros. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Diana, pass the ball. Um. I see Silvia. I see the, the name. Okay, Silvia. Okay, about my neighbor or city. Mm -hmm. uh, the city needs to provide more streets because there is too much traffic and there are too many cars. And we have the problem, a problem about the parkings on the malls. Mm. About, for example, a mall Encuentro Lourdes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Pass the ball, Silvia. Okay. Uh, Eugenio. Okay. <laughs> uh, good evening, everybody. Um, in my neighborhood, it's a big problem to parking. Um, there are uh, enough parking. Um, for me, my car, my car sleep on the street because don't have a parking in my neighborhood. Okay. Um, uh, there are enough police officers. Um, uh, there are uh, so much noise because I live near to Salvador del Mundo. Mm. And the traffic jam is very, very difficult. And okay. the noise is terrible. Okay, um, but you you should say there is too much noise. It's too much noise. There is, uh, not, not there are, okay? Yes. Uh, uh, I like uh, where, where I live because my job is near to my house. Okay. Um, in, in 20 minutes, walking, uh, I write to my house to my job. Okay, very good, very in good. Car, yes, in car is um ten minutes. Okay, great. Better walk. Okay, pass the ball. 
Eugene, pass the ball. Eugene, choose another classmate. Ah, uh, uh, Claudia Maria. This is my. Okay, my Claudia. <laughs> So, um, uh, I put that the city should provide more trash trucks because there is too much garbage in the city. Mm. And there should be enough roads because there are too many cars and there is too much car accidents every day. Okay. And um, another, tell me. <laughs> yeah, car accidents is count noun or non count noun? Count noun. Count noun, okay. So there are too many car oh, accidents. Okay. 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 And. Uh, there should be more home office. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Pass the ball, Claudia. Uh, Juan Antonio. Juan. Hi. Well, in my neighborhood, I have, um, there. we have too much uh, dogs, too much uh, cats. And the too much cars. Okay. You are talking about cars, cats, dogs. Those are cow nouns or non cow nouns? No cow nouns. So. Cow nouns. Uh, these they are. are um, they are. Uh, uh, more uh, cats and dogs than um, stray dogs. Okay, but the thing is that we don't use too much with yeah. cow now. We use too many. There are too many cats. There are too many dogs. There okay. are too many cars. Okay? Not okay. too much dogs. No. We don't say too much dogs. We don't say too much cats. We use too much for uncountable noun. Okay. For example, there is too much traffic. There is too much pollution. There is too much crime. Okay. But yeah. when we use count mm -hmm. nouns, we use too many. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Juan. Pass the ball, please. Okay, Mrs. Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer knows it. Hi. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your neighborhood or your city. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. You're not do you're not in class? <laughs> At least are you doing something else? Um me cuesta mucho. Oh no, don't worry. Okay. Just okay, observe everyone and and then try to, to do it, okay? No problem, Jennifer. Okay, uh so, any volunteer? Okay, Luis. Okay, teacher, thanks. Uh, in the neighborhood, we have too many trash. In the morning, uh, the trash uh, is in the, in the yard of my house. And... It's very much, it's too, too many trash. Uh, the neighbor next to my house, uh, 
the price is is too much and two uh, number two problem uh, is too much noise the music is harsh the music is uh, is high the volume the volume is high and this uh, to me don't sleep in the night uh, for the 10 o'clock in the night I can sleep I am tired and the music don't uh, don't sleep to me and this is incommodate to me incommodate to me wow thanks thanks only okay. it's more problems but this is only two it's <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I got it Okay, again, trash is a non cow now. Okay, so we use we we better say too much trash. Too much trash. Too much. Okay. Uh one more. Voluntarily, one more. <laughs> no volunteers. Come on. Uh Okay. I'm very worried. <laughs> Why? So we are learning. No problem. <laughs> okay, I try. <laughs> yes. And I talking about the my my neighbor. In my neighbor, um I and the city needs to provide more public transport because I no sé, pasan one hours okay. <laughs> um, in, in the day and there are, should be we were noise in my neighborhood I'm I am very noisy because I have a pet. <laughs> my my neighbors my say me or told me, uh, please be quiet, your your dog. Oh, sorry. I I think <laughs> no no la puedo callar porque es un animalito. It's, it's a pet. It's an animal. Mm. It's very difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's all, teacher. I think. Okay. Okay. Very good. And uh, Ada Veronica, she has her hand up. I try, teacher. Okay. In my neighborhood, the city needs to provide more police station. We have too many cars. I think that there are uh, many cars that people. <laughs> <laughs> there are more cars than people? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, there, there is too much pollution in my neighborhood because I had a river. Um, we don't have enough public transportation. There should be less car in the park. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent people. No more? We have time for one more. It's the way to learn. This is the way to practice. Okay. So remember, uh, well, let's a quick look to this again.
Okay, with countable nouns, we use too many. With countable nouns, we use too many. Fewer. Okay. Enough is, we can use enough with count and uncountable nouns, but there is a difference with countable nouns we use plural there aren't enough buses there aren't enough garbage cans there aren't enough police officers okay and with uncountable nouns we use isn't we use e singular verb there isn't enough parking there is isn't enough uh, what can we say um, another there isn't enough recreation um, for example there isn't enough education no uncountable nouns Um, then more, yeah, we can use it with both countable and uncountable nouns. No problem. But remember, too many for countable nouns and too much for uncountable nouns. Okay? That is the same when we ask how many, how much. Remember? How many oranges do you need? Right? How many eggs do you need? But how much milk do you need? How much water do you need? Okay. Okay, people. Let's stop here tonight and we'll continue tomorrow. All right. Okay. See ya. Because it's raining, tax and the cloud. Really? Okay. Yes. There's no it's rain hard. here. <laughs> okay. Have a good night, people. See you See tomorrow. Night, Thank everyone. you, teacher. Good night. Get well, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.